The story begins by showing Jin Bai, a wealthy woman and a famous artist in the entertainment world, who was under pressure from her parents to get married. They already had a future husband in mind for her, but she kept turning him down. One day after Jin Bai finished work and got into her car, a man named Zhou Yi suddenly jumped in. Zhou Wei was a famous actor too, and he was being chased by fans, so Jin Bai decided to help him out. She drove fast to get away from the fans, and Zhou Yi wasn't scared because he knew Jin Bai often did daring scenes in her movies. During the ride, Jin Bai shared a secret with Zhou Yi that his role in a film had been replaced by someone else. Zhou Yi was shocked and panicked to hear this. Unfortunately, they ended up in an accident. Zhou Yi got injured, but Jin Bai fainted and had to be rushed to the hospital. There, a kind-hearted young doctor named Dr. Zhao Shai Wen took care of her. Shai Wen had no knowledge of Jin Bai's rich and famous status and spent his life selflessly helping others. When Jin Bai woke up, she found Shai Wen's attitude arrogant and indifferent, which she didn't like. She couldn't understand how someone like her, with wealth and fame, could be ignored by a doctor whose financial status was lower. Feeling hurt and ignored, Jin Bai planned to teach Shai Wen a lesson. However, things took a surprising turn when her mother called and revealed that Shai Wen was the very fiancé Jin Bai was dating. Even though Shai Wen knew about this, he pretended not to recognize her. Getting increasingly annoyed, Jin Bai decided to resort to some mischievous plans. She began spying on Shai Wen, trying to catch him off guard. During an examination, she hurriedly positioned herself on the bed to tease him, but her attempts failed. Undeterred, she followed into his room and accidentally caught him changing. Both of them were surprised, and Shai Wen promptly asked her to leave. Feeling dejected, Jin Bai poured her heart out to her best friend. She hatched a plan to make Shi Wen fall in love with her and then leave him. Her attempts to get his attention started with changing her appearance into a more innocent look. She smiled and cycled past Chai Wen, but he seemed indifferent. Jin Bai tried again, altering the direction of her bike, but Chai Wen still didn't seem to care. After her first failed attempt, Jin Bai decided to enhance her beauty for the second try. This time, she pretended to be a caring patient in the hospital, reading stories and stealing glances at Shai Wen to gauge his reaction. However, her efforts still didn't yield any positive results. Feeling desperate, Jin Bai's last attempt involved trying to seduce Shi Wen with her body, hoping he would finally notice her. Unfortunately, he remained indifferent, and Jin Bai ended up feeling extremely embarrassed. To add to her woes, one night, a fan of Zhao Wei's doused Jin Bai with water. Shai Wen intervened and warned the woman, but to Jin Bai's surprise, he also threw her out along with the fan. She had hoped Shai Wen would defend her but it didn't turn out as she expected. Jin Bai couldn't bear to stay at the hospital any longer, so she quickly packed her things and left. She walked so fast that her shoes broke, and she had no choice but to throw them away and continue walking barefoot. Shai Wen felt guilty seeing Jin Bai in such a state. Back at Jin Bai's house, she couldn't help but cry, feeling deeply upset. Then, there was a knock on the door, and to her surprise, it was Shai Wen. He advised her to wear sandals and took care of her injured feet. Jin Bai's sadness dissipated, but she couldn't give up on her mischievous plan to win Shi Wen's attention. So despite her injured feet, she kept looking for a drink, determined to keep playing tricks on Shai Wen. The next day, Jin Bai continued her life as an artist, but her health worsened. She sounded very weak when she contacted Shai Wen on the phone, which made him worried. So he hurriedly went to Jin Bai's house, even getting a locksmith to break the lock when he found the door locked. He discovered Jin Bai sprawled on the sofa and quickly moved her to the bed, covered her, and gave her medicine. Jin Bai, feeling out of sorts, even asked Shai Wen to cook for her, but he didn't respond and left. Disappointed, she tried to make her own food, but found everything in her house was moldy. Unexpectedly, Shai Wen returned with food, he had actually gone out to buy it for her. Jin Bai shamelessly asked Shai Wen to clean her house as well, and to her surprise, he willingly fulfilled her request. Xia Wen's innocent and caring attitude made Jin Bai unconsciously fall in love with him. After everything was taken care of, Xia Wen prepared to leave, but Jin Bai held his hand and finally convinced him to stay the night. That night, Xia Wen ended up sleeping next to Jin Bai, keeping her company as she slept. The next day, Jin Bai was surprised to find herself holding Xia Wen's hand and felt a mix of mischievousness and shyness. She couldn't ignore the fact that Xia Wen's foot was in pain because of her. Despite feeling a growing affection for Shai Wen, Jin Bai didn't want to let go of her original plan to play with his emotions. So she pretended not to be interested when he invited her to visit his ancestral tomb. 
As a result, Shai Wen left and went to work feeling a bit disheartened. However, Jin Bai's image started to occupy his mind, and he couldn't concentrate. Jin Bai called her best friend and shared her plan to break up with Shai Wen, believing that soon she would achieve her goal and make him feel miserable after the breakup. After confiding in Jin Bai, Shai Wen spent some time watching dramas and unexpectedly found himself shedding tears. He couldn't get her out of his mind and realized he had developed feelings for her. Jin Bai's influence had made Shai Wen restless, unable to sleep, and constantly checking her phone, hoping for a message from Jin Bai. However, the next day, Shai Wen was still left disappointed and upset as no message came. Eventually, feeling upset, Shai Wen decided to leave on her own. While in a dream, Jin Bai was still debating with himself when his phone fell to the floor, waking him up with panic as he had overslept. Hurriedly, Jin Bai rushed to Shai Wen's house, only to find that Shai Wen was already gone. Feeling strangely upset, Jin Bai blamed Shai Wen for not waiting for him. To vent her frustration, Jin Bai went on a shopping spree and kept talking to her patient friend. After buying lots of groceries, Jin Bai returned home, and to her surprise, she saw Shai Wen standing in front of her house. It turned out that Shai Wen hadn't left her, but had come to pick her up. Jin Bai had misunderstood, and she felt overjoyed. Even though Jin Bai thought she had been left behind, she quickly approached Shai Wen and told him she would pack up quickly. They were all set to leave, and Shai Wen advised Jin Bai to wear her seatbelt. However, Jin Bai responded playfully, saying it was Shai Wen's car, so he was the one responsible for her safety. She even teasingly poked him, asking him to buckle up. As they started the journey, Jin Bai couldn't resist stealing glances at Shai Wen until she eventually fell asleep. Shai Wen stopped the car, covered Jin Bai with a blanket, and then continued driving. The following day, Shai Wen took Jin Bai to a cake shop before they went to visit his ancestral grave. During the ride, a cyclist brushed past Jin Bai, and Shai Wen instinctively protected her, which made Jin Bai feel a bit mischievous. Later, Jin Bai noticed a small doll seller and bought one to give to Shi Wen. At first, he refused the gift, but because Jin Bai acted stubbornly and people were watching, he eventually accepted it. When they arrived at Shai Wen's grandmother's house, he had prepared a gift for Jin Bai to give to his grandmother, trying to make Jin Bai look like a good future wife. They were directed to their respective rooms, and Jin Bai was surprised that she wasn't sharing a room with Shi Wen. However, he reassured her that she was overthinking things, but strangely, Jin Bai was annoyed by the idea that she didn't get to share a room with Shai Wen, even though she initially thought otherwise. After entering her room, Jin Bai indulged in the cake she had bought earlier. Shai Wen then came to say goodbye, and before leaving, Jin Bai offered him some cake as well. Unbeknownst to them, Shai Wen's sister, Su Ying, saw Jin Bai's actions from outside the window and felt disgusted. Once Shai Wen left, Jin Bai's sister tricked her into cooking a meal, but unfortunately, Jin Bai's cooking turned out to be disappointing. Feeling bad about it, she was relieved when Shai Wen returned and scolded her mischievous sister. In the evening, Shai Wen took charge of preparing the meal. As he cooked, Jin Bai sneakily peeked at him, but her lack of talent in hiding was evident, and Shai Wen easily spotted her. When caught, Jin Bai could only smile sheepishly, revealing that she was trying to seduce Shi Wen. Her mischievous behavior was witnessed by both Shai Wen's grandmother and her own sister, Su Ying. Shai Wen's grandmother smiled affectionately, while Su Ying pouted with a wry face. The next day, at the ancestral funeral, Jin Bai still fell asleep as usual. Shai Wen called her, and she immediately rushed to get ready, but strangely, she still found time to do her makeup. Shai Wen couldn't stand the delay and quickly took Jin Bai away. Su Ying was already planning to spill drinks on Jin Bai's clothes, leaving her frustrated as she had prepared her outfit the whole night. The delay caused restlessness among some family members and offended Shai Wen's grandmother. Suddenly, Shai Wen appeared, holding Jin Bai romantically, and everyone was amazed by her beauty, except for Su Ying. The funeral ceremony for Shai Wen's ancestor finally began, but during the ceremony, Jin Bai retaliated against Su Ying's behavior, which led to her getting scolded in the middle of the ceremony. Later, at Su Ying's house, she expressed her emotions and accused Jin Bai of being a sneaky woman who was using her brother, Shai Wen. However, Shai Wen came to Jin Bai's defense and snapped back at Su Ying. Jin Bai felt sorry for causing this situation and told Shai Wen that Su Ying was just jealous. Shai Wen felt guilty for the whole situation. Late at night, Jin Bai stood in front of Shai Wen's room with a cat in her arms. 
Her plan was to borrow a hairdryer since hers was damaged. She acted spoiled and asked for it, but Shai Wen, being a bit insensitive, said he would buy her a new one the next day. Unwilling to wait, Jin Bai decided to take Shi Wen's hairdryer anyway. She playfully dried her hair while teasing him with her movements. During their interaction, Jin Bai confessed that she actually came to say goodbye because she had a shooting schedule with Zhou Wei. She was worried that Shai Wen might misunderstand, but he responded casually which made Jin Bai very happy. That night, Shai Wen drove Jin Bai home and brought her belongings. After dropping her off, he left again. However, on his way, he fell silent and opened a gift box he had prepared for Jin Bai. It was a precious gift that originally belonged to his own mother and was meant to be given to the woman who would become Shai Wen's future wife. When Shai Wen returned to Jin Bai's place, she suddenly opened the door, surprising him. Jin Bai was curious and asked if he missed her. In response, Shai Wen finally gave her the gift he had prepared. The following day, Jin Bai shared everything with her best friend about Shai Wen bringing a gift from his grandmother. Jin Bai lured Shai Wen to come in and have a drink, but he declined, citing work, although he actually wanted to but felt embarrassed. However, Shai Wen, who initially refused, suddenly returned and said he was a little thirsty, looking visibly embarrassed. On the day of shooting with Jiu Wei, everything went smoothly for Jin Bai. She made sure to contact Shai Wen afterward to avoid any misunderstandings if there were strange news about her. Shai Wen pretended not to care, even though deep down, she was restless watching Jin Bai's acting alongside Zhou Wei. Su Ying, as a big fan of Zhou Wei, also became emotional watching Jin Bai on TV with him and felt jealous. During breaks from filming, Jin Bai took the opportunity to visit Shai Wen, bringing him gifts. She acted in a pretentious manner, trying to make him laugh. Shai Wen, who needed to maintain his image as a cool guy, quickly lifted a medical document to cover his face, trying to hide his amusement. During filming with Zhou Wei, Jin Bai had an unlucky accident, and she pretended to injure her leg to take a break from shooting. Her best friend escorted her home, and Jin Bai sent a photo of her feet wrapped in bandages to Shai Wen. Her plan worked, as Shai Wen immediately called to check on her condition. Pretending to cry in pain, Jin Bai managed to get Shai Wen to visit her at home. When Shai Wen arrived at her door, Jin Bai panicked but pretended to be sick and opened the door. Shai Wen treated her injured leg, and Jin Bai kept pretending to be in pain, even though she was just acting. As they spent time together, their relationship grew closer, and Jin Bai's evil intentions were forgotten as she realized she was truly in love with Shai Wen. After finishing treating Jin Bai's leg, Shai Wen returned home, accidentally leaving her document file at Jin Bai's house. Initially, Jin Bai attempted to restore the document, but she encountered Su Ying, who prevented her from meeting Shai Wen. Later that night, Shai Wen came back to Jin Bai's house to retrieve the document. Jin Bai lied, saying there were no documents left behind, but she eventually handed it over to him. As Shai Wen tried to take it, Jin Bai playfully teased him, leading to a little playful tussle between them. When Jin Bai asked about the document, Shai Wen explained that it contained a medical assistance program. Jin Bai praised Shai Wen for being very kind, and he responded playfully before saying goodbye and leaving. As the days went by, Jin Bai's love for Shai Wen grew stronger, and her relationship with Su Ying improved as Jin Bai helped her get closer to Zhou Wei. However, one day, Shai Wen saw a video recording in which Jin Bai had expressed her evil intentions. He was deeply disappointed to realize that Jin Bai had only meant to play with his emotions, and he completely changed his attitude toward her. Unaware of this, Jin Bai tried to contact Shai Wen, but received no response. Little did she know that Shai Wen had gone to the mountains to run a medical program, and he hadn't informed her because of his disappointment. By chance, Su Ying saw the video of Jin Bai on Shai Wen's laptop, and finally revealed the truth to Jin Bai. Feeling guilty, Jin Bai hurriedly went after Shai Wen alone to the mountains, hoping to make things right. In the midst of heavy rain and a landslide, Jin Bai managed to reach Shi Wen in a dirty state. Seeing her struggle and determination to find him, Shai Wen finally believed that Jin Bai truly loved him. Overwhelmed with emotions, Shai Wen couldn't resist and kissed Jin Bai, marking the beginning of their love story. The moral of the story is that pretending to be injured might lead to unexpected romance.